Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kyla here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Fantasy Life. So on this episode, we are once again going to be doing crafting, and this time I'm going to be doing carpentry. So if you don't like to watch the crafting sessions, I suggest skipping this episode because it is literally going to be all crafting. So let's get started. First of all, I need to start things off by making some sugar beams. There's a challenge for creating so many of those so I'm going to do that first and then I need to make the sugar rod sugar uh, axe and stuff like that so craft 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 a maid's work is never done Okay, that should be the challenge complete. Yay, there we go. Okay, so let's start making some of the sugar items. So I believe I need to make a sugar stuff. So let's do that now. And voila! Yay, awesome! Great quality item. That's what I like to see. Okay, next is the sugar bow. Meh, just a good quality item that time. Okay, so next on the agenda. I said agenda really weird then. I said agenda. Agenda? <laughs> Sugar rod. Awesome. I'm wearing the maid's outfit again, by the way, because a lot of people seem to like it on the previous episode. Okay, sugar axe. Hopefully this ends up being a good quality item, and then I should be able to switch over. 
for that. So I just purchased the uh, carpentry tool that I'm using right now. Yay, and it is as well. Great quality item. Okay, let me just back out a second and equip that then. Okay, so it increases my wood wood cutting to 52. Sweet. So again, hopefully this turns out to be a good sugar saw. Still better than the one I've got at the moment. So let's just quickly equip that. There we go, from 52 to 55 on carpentry. Okay, so what other challenges do I need now? That is the question. Make one Starry Night chair. Make five items of Starry Night furniture, such as Starry Night chair or Starry Night low table. So, okay. So, I guess we should start making this Starry Night furniture. Okay, I did actually purchase some of the Starry Night furniture, so I'm just going to see what ones I don't have that I can actually make. Ah, oh, damn, so what do I need for that? I need more flare wool and also some sugar beams. Okay, so it's the bed that I need to make, really, which I'm missing flare wool. I could actually just quickly go and make some flare wool down here. That's if I've got the materials.
No, I need golden sheep fleece. Well, I'm going to quickly go and buy that now, because it's not far to go. So, it should be at the fabric shop. And while I'm here, I can sell a couple of the things that I've just created. should do for now. Okay, let's go and make some flare wool. And then we can finish off the Starry Night Furniture Challenge. Bear in mind, because I haven't changed my life over, I can't do any of the fast processes. You know what I mean, the special. And you'll notice that I'll miss more. Doesn't matter though, because we're only making the flare wall, so it's not important, as long as we do it within the time limit. Oh, bugger. Let's try that again. Okay, so up here we go. It's the bed I need to make, isn't it? Yes. Well, I don't think it's the bed that I need to make for the challenge, but... I want to make it because it's the last item I don't have of Starry Night Furniture. I believe it's a low table that I need to make for the challenge. quality item. Okay, let's check challenges just, just to make sure. I wish that the ones that you have left to do were at the top rather than having to scroll down. I find that quite irritating. But then I'm very impatient. <laughs> make five items of Starry Night furniture such as, there we go, so anything Starry Night really I can make. 
So I'm just going to look for things that use the, the least amount of materials uh, to complete that challenge. And then I need to make 10 mangrove beams. So let's have a look. What costs the least? Okay, so two sugar beams and one flare wall is for the chair. So it's definitely the chair costs the least, so we're going to make the chair. Should be able to make enough to complete that challenge. There we go, one more time and we should finish off that challenge. the challenge yay there we go okie doke so what was it mangrove beam I don't think I can make more oh no I can I think I need to make 10 of these though so I don't have the materials did do it. Okay, let's have another look at challenges then. Make five items of furniture from the pirate range. Make a pirate cabinet and a pirate chest. I think I made the chest already so I believe that I need to make the pirate cabinet so let's go and make that first so pirate bench and pirate cabinet Okay, next on the agenda is the pirate bench.
Oh, nice. Top quality item. Okay, last look at challenges. I think this could be all of them, you know, that I've completed. Port Town Holidays make a Port Town bed, a Port Town couch, a Port Town wardrobe. So, Port Town couch. Oh, nice, another top quality item. Right, I can't make the bed because I'm missing materials. I'm missing one Elder Palm log. I think I can buy that though, but I can make the Port Town wardrobe, so let's make that. Nice, another top quality item. Okay, so let's see if I can buy this log. I think I should be able to. I remember seeing someone selling it. What was it? Elder Palm Log? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can't buy it then, guys. Anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll go back to my master and cash in all of these. Sugar Rush, Sweet Woodcutter, Sweet Hunter, Sweet Fish, Sweet Magic. Starlight Seats, Room Full of Stars, A Thousand Years of Dreams, Marvelous Mangrove, Pirate's Parlor. Scoundrel Storage, Pirate Perch, Carpentry Toolbox 4. Wow, look how much points I've acquired there. 7,650. You learned extra material skill. You learned how to make expert level recipes. Congratulations! 
Okay, so let's just check out some of the things we've unlocked here. Have a look at weapons, maybe. Fur beam. Ooh, hello. Mooncrest stuff. I did actually buy this. Um, I've got a better one now as well. Sparkle Axe. Well, I can make the famous angler's rod. Line gauge recovery plus. Ooh, that's handy. Let's have a look at this. No special skills. Sparkle axe has sacred tree damage plus. That's nice. Treasure chest is new. Forest chair. Forest low table. Forest dining table, forest cabinet, forest sofa, forest bed, forest chest, forest wardrobe, chair of atonement, occult low table, bloodthirsty table, ominous cabinet, treacherous sofa, <laughs> that's awesome, nightmare bed, darkness eating chest, otherworldly wardrobe, you can buy these though, by the way. So if they're hard to make and you just want the furniture and you're not bothered about them being top quality, just buy them. I guess I'll make some of these fur logs while I'm here. Last craft of the episode. Beam. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this crafting episode. If you want to see more crafting episodes, don't forget to leave comment requests down below. If you want to see anything in particular, just let me know and I will consider it for my Let's Play walkthrough. As always guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favour and share the video. Remember, all types of engagement help me out as a YouTuber. And I shall see you next time, guys.